little bit of wind on, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Are you seeing moving? We figured today would be a good day to try out a little hobo stove Daddy made. We knew the weather was coming, so we figured today would be a good day to do it. So we're going to find a spot here somewhere in a little shelter and see how it works. I see we go up here now and uh, give it a whirl, whatever it is. Sounds good to me. We forgot our Y stick. <laughs> we forgot our Y stick. <laughs> that worked. So here's our little hobo stove. Got a little hole cut into it for feeding them wood. And down below we got little holes for breeders. For it to breed. And I got three cut across here. Just in case my nashes gets up. And then on top. I got this wire mesh. Put in pretty tight. So you could throw the kettle onto it. We got a little frying pan we could use on it, or even do toast bread. Yeah, use it as a toaster. Use it as a toaster. I brought along a slice of bread just to show. So, here it is. It's a good day to try it out. Yes, sir. A little bit of birch rind and a few little sticks for to get her going. A bit of kindling. A bit of kindling. So we watch this channel, it's called uh, Eric Wildman Survival. We love this channel and we seen he had a little hobo stove and we kind of wanted to, to make one. So uh, if you get a chance, run on over and check out his channel. He got lots of little ideas and stories. We'll leave a link down in the description to his channel. So uh, yeah, here we go. We're going to see if we can boil some water out here today. If we can, we might have a cup of tea.
Now we got our little stove. Fire it up. Now we're going to see if we can boil it. Boil some water. Oh, you really got her going good. Flames are shooting out the front. Water looks like it's pretty close to boiling. Just start the ball. Perfect, sure. Really good, especially if you want to go ice fishing. You want to fool around with making a big old fire. Get this along and ta da. And not only that, you can set it by the pond alongside you. Yeah. Warm up your fingers. Yeah. Set it by the pond. Yeah. Warm up your hands, fish away. You're great. You're great, yeah. Five minutes. Water biome and still lots of coals to do warm up something. Here's our tea. So if you wanted to do toast and have some toast and tea or coffee, you can fry bacon and eggs, I would imagine. You probably might try that out one of these times. Hobo stove slash toaster. It is. Awesome moving. And there you go. Good old drop of tea made from our uh, oval stove. I must say, worked out better than ever I thought. Great little rig. Keeps you warm. Awesome. One thing about those little cans, as you're out in a nice bit of snow, like we are today, if you put a couple of little pieces of stick in under it like this, it won't melt down in the snow so far. And everything is about the snow and the heat is really nice. I must say, it's worth your while to try. I can't believe a lot of fire glasses like this. It has need, eh? A handful of wood, you can boil the kettle and you can, and you can warm up something. You can fry eggs, really. Yeah. When you talk of warming up, my hands will be one of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.